chapter 10, sophomore year. <clears throat> Returning to school this year, I was not a rookie, a veteran. Yeah, initiation included the vets who were dicks would drag the new students through the mud when it rained. So not fair. I was approached by the biggest group of vets and seeing that, look, this is going to be fun. Not, I took off running like I just fell through the ice. Gone. Someone got a hold of my coat and I just slipped out of it. They tried to taunt me with, I have your coat and stuff in it. I laughed and I said I had all the good stuff in my pants pockets. I am no fool. Keep my coat. I didn't participate in these initiations of rookies. I suggested to the new students not to go out when it rained if you don't want to be dragged in the mud. This year of school flew by with no incidents. Christmas break was upon us faster than a speeding bullet. During the Christmas break, we would go to collect some native foods from the outside beach called the cliffs. There were these huge rocks that fell from the cliff into the ocean and was perfect to grow rohiducks and uducks. We would also collect blue mussels and whatever extra food we found. We could only collect these delicacies during the winter months with R in them. The elders would keep an eye on the tides for a good low tide during the day. We'd get our gear on for cold, wet weather, our five-gallon buckets, and butter knives. A march and we would go to the outside beach with visions of yummy, sweet taste of fresh ojitox for all. We would get there during daylight and start prying the ojitox off the rocks. We usually went to the cliffs a mile and a half from the village. The best strategy was to start at the edge of the water and slowly get pushed up by the beach by the incoming tide. We stayed too long one time and nightfall started. When it gets dark enough, you can see the spark that the Ohiducks put out. I didn't know they did that and they put on a spectacular show for us. Time to travel back to school for the second half of my sophomore year. This year was a, a blur and went fast. This May Day celebration took part at a park on the other side of town that had a patch of woods. A couple of my friends and I headed into the woods to hike the trail. We did not time our return in time and came back to an empty parking lot. Left behind. Lucky for me, my friends were from this town and knew their way around. Seasoned hitchhikers, they suggested we hitchhike back to campus. Okay, sounds good to me. We started out walking towards campus and run into this guy that needed someone with a valid driver's license to get his Camaro. Fortunately for him and us, my friend had one of these wonderful cards. Oh yeah, away we went back in style to campus. The summer we spent living with my aunt Janet and her kids, my favorite cousins Elise and Brent. They were too young to hang out with us. That summer, my aunt lived next to a lake, and we would go there every chance we got. I had a part-time job working with the Native facility as a nighttime janitor. I really enjoyed working with the old man and had a blast cleaning the building. Most days, Brother Henry, Cousin Adam, and I would spend at the lake rafting on a homemade raft made from two 4x12s tied together. We just barely floated. If you moved too much, the water would go over the top of the board. The lake had a small island in the middle of it with a couple of trees. We'd always try to make it around the whole lake, but never did. One day we attempted to cross over the middle and out of the blackness of the bottom came the shiny bright square coming at us with some speed. I was sitting on a little red bucket and stood up so fast that I kicked it over the side. We watched this bright red bucket disappear into the blackness. We then realized it was a bottomless lake. Scared, we turned around and headed for land. This one evening, we left to see the area. We were not alone on the lake this night. Two drunks guys caught up to us in a paddle boat and wanted to trade. My brother refused, and off we went. He told me later that they probably would have fell in the lake using our raft. 
On some days we would head to the swing. The swing swung over an abandoned junkyard. Dangerous. I never tried it. I was not going to be in pain for a little bit of pleasure. Near the end of that summer, we spent hiking around, picking berries, and realized that summer was ending. School was not too far off for us, and we played hard till then.